Hey guys, how's it going? Just thought I'd do a quick video review here of a Transformers Prime R.I.D. Soundwave. And here we have him in his um, aerial drone mode. And I have to say, a uh, unarmed, I'm sorry, not unarmed, unmanned uh, kind of Air Force drone I think is a very appropriate uh, alt mode for Soundwave considering... Um, you know, the other choice would be a cassette boombox. I think uh, this is definitely more appropriate maybe to our modern age than uh, what his traditional G1 alt form would be. So I kind of like the fact that they made this his uh, alt mode in Transformers Prime. And honestly, it looks, in my opinion, really good. It's well detailed. Um, you know, and it's just a nice looking mold. The bottom isn't perfect, but it's still fairly sleek. Um, I, I really like the way this figure looks. He's, uh, he's really cool. Um, and of course, uh, a laser beak integrates with him in this mode. You can just kind of, you know, it pops off and maybe laser beak can go in another direction and check something else out that Soundwave can't see. I don't know. Pretty cool. I mean, I, I really like, uh, this vehicle mode a lot. I'll go ahead here and do a few size comparisons with a couple other figures and we'll start off with a uh, first edition Starscream and that's a little bit Starscream is a little small uh, next to him but then again he's a deluxe so it's not the end of the world anyway he scales better I think with uh, Voyager Starscream you know that's a kind of a, uh, a really good uh, scale and lastly I'll just go ahead and grab Dreadwing here and pretty good on that, too. Um, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about his uh, vehicle mode, except I think it's quite good. And uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up, and I'll be back in a flash to go over robot mode with you. All right, guys, here we have Soundwave uh, transformed and into his uh, robot mode. And I have to say, he looks uh, pretty darn good in this mode, in my opinion. I'll just start off uh, by doing a 360 of him. He's definitely a different take on Soundwave, which I really like, but still, I think he's it's very fitting for the character. Um, you know, it's it's he's a pretty neat figure, I think. Um, now, there is one thing here. Uh, Laserbeak actually integrates with him into his chest, so you just can pop Laserbeak off just by, you know, pulling him off the chest. And you can do the classic... Uh, Oh, but before I do that, <laughs> Laserbeak does have a little bit of articulation of his own. His wings can move, and they can kind of go forward and back a little bit. And that's pretty much it on Laserbeak. I mean, there's not a lot going on with him since he's kind of just really uh, meant to be a part of Soundwave. But you can do, of course, the classic uh, Soundwave pose with him and Laserbeak. You know, with laser be perched on Soundwave, and uh, you know this figure, he has a decent amount of articulation. He's got a uh, he's got foot pivot there, bends at the knee, uh, at top of the leg, forward, back, in, out, rotates. He's got waist rotation. Rotates at the shoulders. And he's just got some funky stuff here on the arm because of the way his arms are constructed. It's kind of hard to describe exactly. But he's got multiple points of articulation on his arm. So he can do, you know, <laughs> kind of the, huh, you know, kind of pose. I mean, he can do a lot of different things with his arms. And uh, his head, you know, pretty much on a ball joint. So can you know move up and down look around yada 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 you know it's overall great robot mode on this toy but then again I thought he had a great vehicle mode too um, this is one of my uh, personal favorite Transformer Prime Deluxes he is a little spindly but um, you know overall I'd say he's a real good figure I'll go ahead and do a few uh, size comparisons here here he is with uh, Voyager Megatron. I think he scales pretty well with him. Here he is with um, 
Viacon. Uh, kind of can't can, kind of not really see Viacon. Let's see if we can zoom. Eh, not really in the frame there. Let's try to aim that. Dill there we go. Fairly well scaled with him, and I guess we'll do um, knockout to finish off. And that's it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap this whole thing up. I would highly recommend picking them up if you can find them for a reasonable price. Um, I know the Beast Hunter version of this guy is at retail right now. Uh, personally, I'm going to skip on that one because it's just the same figure with like some spikes on them. Uh, and I prefer, you know, the R.I.D. version. It's a cleaner look. But, you know, whatever your personal preference is, I think you should get it. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap this whole thing up. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.